Hello everybody and welcome to my 68 VBA 2010 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the initialize and terminate uh, events on your class modules. I know at the end of the last one I said I was going to show you how to use static variables uh, but after a little bit of research you can't use them in the way I thought you could so I'm not going to show you them. Um, thought you could use them the same way you can do in Java uh, but I was wrong. So let's get started on initialize and terminate. So this is the same as kind of normal events. Uh, if you click on your drop down up here, press on class, uh, and then you get this class initialize sub down here. Uh, and this it will run whenever you create a new instance of the class. So let's put message box the class has been created and then in our module uh, let's set it off to play so play and it's good the first thing it's going to do is going to say the class has been created and then it's going to go through the rest of it so as soon as you do this as new a user it's going to use that initialize and it's going to set off the whole trigger um, you've also got the class terminate uh, and this is kind of just the opposite so whenever the sub procedure ends so uh, removed I'm going to call it remove from memory and so if we press play now in our code it's going to say it's been created it's going to run our code and then at the end of our sub it's going to end it uh, we can actually end it sooner so let's say we want to shut it down earlier on um, then let's just put something random in here so message box and then some random text so if I want to close it down before this random text then we're going to put, need to put set user1 equals nothing and that's going to destroy the reference to the object so press play created does our things and then it removes it and then it goes onto that line of code. So it doesn't need to wait until the end of the sub procedure when it terminates it automatically. You can just set it to nothing straight away. Uh, and this can be useful for other things as well. This set equals nothing. Uh, if you've got a, so sometimes when you've got connections to databases, you need to set it equal to nothing because otherwise your connection to the database stays open and then your server can start lagging and things like that. Uh, or if you've got a limited number of users, then you want to set it to nothing to get rid of the connection. So that's class initialize, class terminate. There's one flaw in them in comparison to other programming languages is you can't actually pass any parameters to the initialize one. So if you want to initialize your uh, class with parameters, so say when you start it up and you want to give it a name, you need to use either the property let or just a function that puts the them in you can't actually pass any variables to the initialize event which is unfortunate to say the least uh, and I'm pretty certain on that if anyone knows any different then uh, put it in the comments and uh, that's going to be it for class modules now uh, i understand they can be quite complicated if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments below or alternatively check out the forum in the description and drop any questions you want on there and one of us will get back to you as soon as possible uh, so that's it for class modules and um, the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to use record sets to connect to databases with SQL. So pretty excited. Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.